welcome back. Um, again, I'm Professor Stephanie Sidlick at Carnegie Mellon, and these are a series of videos for my graduate level course, um, Molecular Basis of Polymer Mechanics. Today we'll be talking about um, something that is very simple, or can be very simple, um, but also very critical um, to actually being able to understand the properties of your polymer. Um, and so this isn't an instrument, it's not, this isn't a synthesis, this is, a, I like to say it's an art. Today we'll be talking about how to make good films so that you can characterize the mechanical properties of your polymer. So to do any sort of mechanical analysis, you need a, a, what we call a freestanding film. And we have a really nice example of a freestanding film right here. So this is PMMA. It's a you know nice, robust, um, you can see, you can pick it up, move it around, give it a little bit of a bend. Um, this is what you're going for. So to get there, if your polymerization goes really well, is actually pretty simple. So after the purifications, um, you just dissolve your polymer in a minimal amount of solvent. So this is uh, an example of it. Um, you can see minimal does mean minimal. This is uh, eight mils of chloroform. Um, and all you do with it, you take it, you can see it's still a little viscous. Um, you have a clean crystallization dish and you pour it in. That's it. You wait for it to evaporate. If you have trouble um, forming a film, if this doesn't produce a nice film, um, so reasons why it might do that, um, if you let air um, or oxygen into your reaction mixture, um, your molecular weight could be lower or your polydispersity higher. And both of these things um, make it much harder, harder for the polymer to entangle and form a good film. Um, but if you did a really good job with your synthesis and actually excluded air, um, these syntheses are very robust and you should be able to get uh, a polymer that behaves like this one. So we'll just sit here and uh, wait for it to, to dry. In the meantime, we're going to talk about uh, this thing. And so we can't take and put this on the DMA. What we have to do is actually cut this into thin strips to test. And so the way we do this is with a razor blade. Um, so if you could uh, come over here and kind of get in here so we can see what we're doing. Um, this is a good film because we can see there are no wrinkles, there are no air bubbles. Um, it's thick, it's robust. Um, and now we just want to take and make it something that we can use. And so we do that with the razor blade. The razor blade provides a straight edge and we just press down on the film to score it like that. And this film actually um, might even be a little bit thick for the razor blade. Um, so you might have to actually take scissors and cut this because it is so thick. And I think that's what we're going to have to do. And so right along that straight line, cut. Didn't quite get it, so there are some mix in there. There we go. I'm going to cut this into rectangular strips. There's one. great samples for DMA. We're ready to do that experiment with those now. Let's take just a few more minutes to look at this uh, film that we're forming here. We can see it's starting to dry. And one thing that you can do if you're having trouble with your film is speed it up. So if it happens that your polymer 
is um, a little bit low molecular weight. Um, it can crystallize, which will make a flaky film. Um, so what you can do is actually trick it into forming a better film by uh, using a little bit of heat. This will trap it in the kinetic state. Um, so we have this just set at, at 80, and that should help the chloroform evaporate. Um, if you'll remember, chloroform boils at about 65 degrees C, so this is just above that, that state. Um, you're really having trouble. Um, so like the butyl methacrylate can be very rubbery. Um, and sticky, and so it can stick to the bottom of the um, crystallization dish, even if you make a good film. Um, other students like to call this the potato chip method. Uh, as it's drying, you actually want to pick up a film kind of like this, and uh, this is PMMA, so it's not going to work as well, but you can pick it up and draw it and that'll give you a sample. And like I said, it's not working with this one um, because this is a good film for this, but uh, that's one, one way that you can combat uh, a polymer that isn't quite behaving the way you want it to. Again, like I said, if you did a really good job um, with air and water exclusion, you'll end up with beautiful freestanding films like these, but that doesn't happen. Um, there's a few tips and tricks like this potato chip method, uh, using a little bit of heat, um, and finally you can also try slow evaporation, um, which actually you put a cover on this and wait overnight. Um, so that'll slow down the evaporation. So I hope that helps. We have uh, one more module to go. Thanks for listening.